Bruce, we've grown several different types of algae in the lab here. Take us through the steps of one of those to show the different steps you work through as you grow up uh, an algae from a slant all the way through a dry product. Okay, Lynn, I'll do that. Well, this is what's called a slant. It's a sample that we would get, and in this case, it's a clammy sample of an algae. And what we typically would do with that in a clean environment, we would take a sterile loop and we would take a scraping off of this and transfer it into a sterile media. Now that would all be done in a clean environment. Then a person would seal it up and periodically during the growth cycle we would sparge it with CO2 because it needs CO2 as a growth media as part of its uh, carbon source. Then as you can see it grows up to various stages in color, that's how you tell how much it is. You can also run instruments on it, but grow it up to various stages and you can tell by the color. Then the next stage of growth would be, we would take a large 2,500 milliliter flask with sterile media in it and transfer a flask of the algae that is growing up into that in a clean environment. And then it would end up with a large flask with the algae in it, and then we would put a permanent CO2 delivery tube in it, and that would be placed on a shaker system. We would have a full rack of 2,500 milliliter flasks growing up over time, and it would take it several days to come to a very dense solution. We would then take and would get ready to move to our next stage at that point and the final grow up of our 100 gallon next step would look like this but I want to walk you through each one of the stages using our unit that is uh, at empty at this point. So we would take six of the flasks and we would have put in about 25, 15 milliliters of media, 15 gallons, sorry about that, and then added the six flasks to it that would typically grow for about two days, starts to become a very green solution. We then would add another 35 gallons to get us about half full or 50 gallons, and that would go for about two days again till you have a nice dense solution. Then you would add the remaining 50 gallons to it and allow probably another two more days, and then you have the full 100 gallons growing at that point. Then what I like to do is that I like to harvest that and regrow it for at least two cycles. And what that allows for is that then you have a full batch of very vigorous growing uh, algae. And it would end up looking like this 100 galloner that's ready to now use as an inoculum for our 450 gallon unit. We're now over here at our 450 gallon photobioreactor. You can see it's a little light, but let me walk through the startup stages from where we left off at the 100-gallon uh, photobioreactor. There we had a nice deep green 100-gallon reactor, and that took, you know, 7 to 10 days to get to that point. And now let me walk you through to where we're at here today. We started out by adding about 100 gallons of media in here. We transferred over the full 100 gallons of algae, the dark green material, from our 100 galloner and inoculated the 450. That then grew up for a day or two and we just added the remaining 250 gallons to get us to our 450 gallons where we're at. So this is going to have several more days to grow. When this is fully grown it will look like the other reactor, a nice dark green, and at that stage we'll be ready to start the harvest and set up our various harvest cycles depending on the particular uh, tests that we're doing. Now I'm going to walk over to show you some dry material then. You can see we've got a clear bottle here and then we've got, we've been growing it for a while so we've got several buckets of, of product. So we've grown it up into dry material that we use for sending out to laboratories or for evaluation from, from various people we're working with. That sort of is a real quick summary then of walking through how we handle cultures all the way from the slant 
through our shakers and our flasks through our 100 gallon photobioreactor into the 450 gallon reactor and then to finished product.